for building and giving away 100 houses. And all right, this is my first, this is my first uh Mr. Beast reaction ever, bro. Like on my channel, this is my first Mr. Beast reaction, bro. I haven't really watched the Mr. Beast video in a long time, bro. I think the last one I watched was the yacht one where he had the the yacht. He he had I think he brought the whole brought a whole bunch of people on the yacht. It was like 50 people, I think, on the yacht on the cruise ship. That was like the last one I watched, bro. I don't remember which video that was. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can put it up here so y'all can see my POV from the last time I watched the Mr. Beast video. Uh, but I did see this video right here on Instagram. Y'all, I seen this video right here on Instagram with him. Uh, he he had posted it. I follow him on Instagram. He posted it. He said this video made him cry. Um, so I guess he built a hundred homes. Bro. And each home is going to change a family's life, like this family who didn't have a house to call their own, and they have That's no dope. idea we just built them one. Take off your blindfolds and turn around. Behind you is your brand new home. <laughs> Oh, I was not expecting that reaction. She is freaking out. I always want them to have a bunk bed. I'm a dream come true. And this is just the Let's first go. of 100 houses we're Whoa, giving away. First. <laughs> I'm glad they're That's happy. Dope, Let's go give away another house. With every single home we're building in this video, we're improving quality of life for families who don't have a safe space to call home. And we spent millions of dollars just on this video building these houses. Because here in Jamaica, there are currently over half a million people living in unsafe, life-threatening conditions, mm. like this next family, whose house is so unsafe and unstable that it could literally collapse on them at any given moment. So you built this place? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah, I brought boards and all materials, they see. But we're on top of a mountain, so you carried all this material up this mountain. Yep. On my head. head. Wow. Mm. We knew we wanted to build this family a house. So we sent them on a mini vacation so that we had enough time to work with our partners to build them a brand new home. You're about to witness a family that lives in this house go to living in this house. And I cannot wait to see the look on their faces. Oh my. <laughs> what you are looking at is your brand new home. The trip we sent you guys on was just a decoy so we could have time to build this brand new house for you. That's you want to see the inside? Bro. Come check it out. Whoa. That's crazy. We noticed bro. that you guys might need some new furniture. So we completely furnished your new home. Now, on top of electricity, you have a water tank for running water. We put bunk beds in this room for two of the kids. Oh my. And if you go across the hallway, you'll see your bedroom. Ooh, nice. With a little crib, because I heard you had a new. Board. Tyra, that's your crib. It's been really hard, and you guys changed my life. Aww. Here's officially that's the deed dope, to the bro. house. Thank you guys so much. And it sucks, but some of these places that these families live are extremely unsafe, and in some cases, life-threatening. That's where this family currently lives. The mom was telling us that that roof doesn't work. Whenever the rain fall, the whole place flooded all over here. Her kids get soaked and can't sleep, and as of today, that will not happen again. We built that brand new home for you. Here's the keys. Oh my God. Yay. Oh, you, Mr. You Beast, bro. You, bro. But of course, this was just the beginning. We were able to build home after home for families in Jamaica. And we weren't gonna stop until we had built 100 houses. But unfortunately, at our next destination, there's a river that destroys hundreds of homes every year. You see, during rainy season, this river flash floods, washing away all the homes and anyone unlucky enough to be inside. And as you can see, there's literally a fridge right there, which I assume got there because their house got swept away. Exactly. So you're saying when this floods, those houses that currently have families living in them could potentially be destroyed. Yes, they will. Well, not on my watch. Because just a couple of miles away, we've built rows of new houses for this community. No joke, we're giving away this home, 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 this home. There's a lot of homes. So we started with Maria and her daughter, whose previous home was completely demolished by the river during rainy season and without even a bed to sleep in every single day has been a struggle for them okay. all right and since they don't speak english can you translate for them to turn around and look at their brand new home Puede darse vuelta. Aquí está tu nueva casa. Ay, Dios. w bro <laughs> Gracias. No problem. Come check out the inside. Oh, Gracias. you want to give it a hug? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and while walking through their new home, we realized they didn't even know their house was free yet. Oh, you haven't told them it's no, free? No. Yeah, tell them. It's free. No van a pagar. Todo esto es suyo. Ay, gracias, padre. 
Congrats on the new home. Ay, papito. Bro, you're crazy for not telling me that it was free. Me puedo acostar. Sí, se puede acostar. Ay, voy a dormir. What do you think of it? Me puedo dar un abrazo. What'd she say? Can he hug you? Oh, of course. Gracias. This is why we do videos like that. Look how happy they are. Te lo agradezco con todo el corazón. I don't want you to have to worry about the... Don't let go. Oh my God, chat. We gonna go crazy, bro. Y'all watching this, bro, subscribe, bro. Y'all looking at the next, the next. I ain't even gonna say Mr. Beast, bro. Y'all can call me Mr. Trans, bro. I'm gonna be Mr. Trans. Do you hear what I'm saying? Y'all can call me Mr. Trans, bro. We gonna be doing stuff like this for people, bro. Cause I be feeling people pain, bro. Like I know how hard it is out here, bro. Like for people that house get destroyed cause a river, bro. Like. That's crazy, bro. Y'all might as well hit that subscribe button, bro. Y'all looking at the next Mr. Trans, bro. Mr. Trans, bro. The river anymore. This is your brand new home. Dad, that makes me Enjoy feel the good, new home, bro. Little man. We heard they had a newborn, so we also got him a crib. Seeing people happy and free, bro, is a good feeling, bro. It's a good feeling, bro. Good See feeling, that row of houses behind me with the families blindfolded in front of them? We are not kidnapping the families. We're giving them all houses at the same time. Eight families' lives are about to change forever. Attention, everybody. Remove your blindfolds and turn around and look at your brand new home. Hey. Congratulations. Hey, gracias por la casa, Jimmy. I got to go down. I need to see the reactions. What do you think of the new place? <laughs> Congrats. Hey, I'll give you $574 if you switch. OK. Can you ask them if they like their new house? Me gusta su nueva casa. Sí, sí. Yeah, you like the new house? Let's see if they do. Sí, sí. What do you think of it? Muy gracias. 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 Yeah. gracias. I hope you like it. And now gracias. we're at the end of the row. What do you think of your new home? Muy bien. And this is my buddy now in Florida. Come over here. I have something way better than just a picture. Do you ask him if he wants to play football with me? Te pregunto si quieres jugar fútbol con él. Yeah. Well, that's convenient because not only are we giving this community houses, but we're also giving them this giant soccer field. And the best part is I have hundreds of kids waiting over here. We're going to surprise them. And this is the neighborhood's first Dang. look at their brand new soccer field. Go play some soccer! Enjoy your new soccer field. Go have fun! And of course, a new field had to come with brand new soccer equipment for all the kids. Make sure you guys have a lot of fun on the soccer w field. But I don't know if the bro. soccer field was enough because all the kids started demanding feastables. All right, here's some feastables. They really love feastables here. I will start carrying more feastables. Feast that fun! W, bro. I don't know what he said, but if he said it tastes good, then he's correct. <laughs> but of course, outside of this community, more families across El Salvador were in need of safe housing. So on our way out, we built as many houses as we possibly could. But we're only halfway there because a small community in Argentina also needed our help. And we built house after house to ensure that every single child in this community w, had a bro. safe place to learn and grow. But we still weren't done. So we even flew all the way over to to Mexico, where we continue to build house after house for all of these communities. And when we arrived in our next destination in Colombia, we found a community whose homes were ravaged by a brutal windstorm. The next family used to live in a house like this. I say used to because a tornado destroyed it. And clearly these houses are in no way livable. And so, of course, we built John and Anna a brand new home. And now all we have to do is give it to them. This family has no idea they're about to get that house. Right there's good. Okay, take them off. Congrats! I know it might not seem real, but this is legitimately your house. You want to unlock the front door? They're all in shock, and to be honest, I don't even think they believe this is their house. They may not be saying anything, but oh, the tears say a lot. Congrats, man. Congrats. This is yours. Oye, bastante. Nosotros iniciamos con una una habitación prefabricada. Tenemos casa. But John and Anna weren't the only ones that needed help in Colombia. So you can probably guess what we did for the rest of the community. It shouldn't be a stretch that everyone in the world deserves a safe roof over their head. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. That's a messed up feeling, bro. I agree. But not every house we built went quite so smoothly. Uh, I accidentally broke the lock to the door. Their furniture's still outside, which we were gonna move in there. The family just pulled up. We put bars on the window, so I can't get in. I don't really know what to do. We're very screwed. All right, guys. Hey, how's it going? Come on over. Okay, so I don't know. I think I broke the lock. I can't get the door open. Here, can you try? Am I? Just, maybe I'm just dumb. No. Okay. Oh, what? Wait, how did you do that? Yeah. Are we dumb? 
Our right, boys, come on in. And while personally, I'm not quite the best locksmith. Do you want to see it? You totally, they totally haven't seen any of the furniture yet. What mattered most is that Jose and his family now had a place to call home. They don't have to worry about a home anymore. And we also heard their only means of transportation broke down. And so, one more surprise. We also got you guys a brand new motorcycle. There you bro. go. Thank you, gracias. No problem. <laughs> Now they have a brand new home and a way to get around. And this got me thinking. While giving away all these houses, I noticed a lot of people were struggling with transportation. And I got to solve in this truck. Open it up. <laughs> we got bicycles for every single kid in this village. No problem, man. W, bro. W got chat. And after giving away 99 free homes, we still had one home left to give away. And finally, House 100. Take your blindfolds off and look at your new home. That is crazy, bro. Congrats. That's a great oh, feeling, bro. Congrats. Go check it out. Golden got over 100 hugs in a day, bro. <laughs> shout out to all our partners that helped build these houses and also shout out to you guys because obviously if you didn't watch these videos we wouldn't have been able to build 100 houses and if the channel continues to grow i hope to do a thousand in the future facts bro 